He was a thief and he did it all the time. That stealing he used to call enlightening for the others in loss. So they spiritually grow. He was not only a thief but also a liar towards himself. What's worse? Always another chic, trendy, authentic, to go, oriental, family, fast, arty, road, five star, four calendar, cheap and deli, and so many with branded words, dictionaries for futile to describe, types of restaurants where he ate from without a check. A humble gift from my guru for my accomplishments, he said. His guru to him he impersonages fat back. Otherwise he would be for good dead. More dead than the dead. Because it is beyond the scope of this story. But just know that he already was dead. My delicious soul food, he cunningly said. He was not only a thief and a liar, but also stupid. What's worse? Blinded by his tall victory, planning the future only, a robot army that shall kill humanity. For he could be the only one on earth. The one who was made of human wanted that. Unable to comprehend with his victorious photoshopped head, always looking forward as if more ahead than anyone ahead. Far, far beyond clouds of oil, stick, slime and dirt, so that the impure material would fill his brainless head. For a temporary while, oh my, that pretty skull, implanted with sunny hair and glowing starry eye, had all the luxurious capacity of space. A palace for the richest, he says, I live in on the last floor of the highest building ever made on the planet, always busy baptizing with cosmetics, branded as pure mountain water and angelica white herb. He switches off his room-sized TV and looks down affectionately, where in reality he overlooks, and self-adoringly shakes in triumph. I see all humanity, they bug and harvest their own igni photos. No, I need no TV. This is my true warranty. I am the preacher. I am reborn. He was not only a thief and a liar and stupid, but also ignorant. What's worse? As he continued to praise his what could have beens, he forgot the what is. Having numbed the essence, he was unable to feel the growing green grass under his food soles. Nature, as compassionate as always, tries to nurture his lost soul, even for him, by building a shelter where he could also grow a brain in meditation, long term. May, could, would he also have then a true home built on the mountain of truth. Oh, the nature so pure, beautiful and naive continued to plan hand in hand with a hard-working bumblebee so he could learn to be free without depending on a guru or on casual vampiric activity. So what nature does? She builds a home for him, even adds a pretty angel in. That could be an ever after sweetheart for him. He was not only a thief and a liar and stupid and ignorant, but also blind. What's worse? So blind that up and see the angel, his true twin of opposite nature. He did not recognize her. And one night he broke in his own house, plundered everything that has been gifted for him and dropped the key as always but this time inside where she lived, in the hearts of the hearts, on the top of the mountains of truth, on a clearing, beyond the true clouds of love, where their house was built. And as usual, he escaped. 
far, far away, until he consumed all that he had, politely jerked and laughed, ejaculated his fantasies in the lands beyond the oily custard, custard distilled by seedless smoke clouds made of evil he knew so well, until he was left with one white flower with living roots. Who are you? What are you? He whined and cried in terror and fear, hearing his own true voice for the first time, after ages and after sucking generations' gifts. Here is the flower's reply. I am you, so be me, plant me, so you can see, break the blasphemy, and if you can, become you again, and grow truthfully, you will reach to where she lives, lifetimes long, lifetimes after, when she sees you, or of you, she will recognize you, as she truly with kiss, by her kiss, you shall at once be blessed, fret, convert to a prince of her dreams, and always remember to keep her dream alive, as she is made of love, otherwise, you and all of you shall eternally die. What? Becoming a flower? But that's the worst, he replied, and dropped his only living copy of the key.